जय हिंद एवरी वन आई एम प्रभात कुमार एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू पी वाई क्यू अकेडमी दिस इज एन इंट्रोडक्शन वीडियो इन विच आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस वट इज द मोटिव बिहाइंड स्टार्टिंग दिस यूट्यूब चैनल एंड वट ऑल यू आर गोइंग टू फैच बाई वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू विश यू ऑल अ वेरी हैप्पी रिपब्लिक डे मूविंग फादर सो you all must be thinking what is pyq okay so pyq stands for previous year question uh, i have been preparing for uh, different exams of upsc for the last 5 years and i found the pyq approach of examination very good uh, pyq uh, that that means previous year questions are considered as the blueprint of any examination and on the basis of pyq next year questions can be easily predicted so it decreases your effort and increases your efficiency it also tells us the authentic sources from where the questions are being picked okay so in this video i will be telling how to approach pyq uh, of different exams so that you can uh, predict more number of questions so uh, which all exams uh, I, i will be covering different exams of upsc like nda cds cpf cse and apfo other than upsc important exams of state like bpsc uppsc and also few other exams in which uh, aptitude person can be covered okay so uh, why these exams only actually i have been preparing for and uh, upsc and i have the personal experience of all these examination okay so and in fact i had cleared cds consecutively for five times cpf written consecutively for four times and bpsc written consecutively for two times i am also having experience of mains examination and i am having experience of upsc interview for two times okay and also i have gone through medical examination by an armed force uh, medical officer for three times so i am having a complete experience starting from the written examination then mains then interview and also the medical examination so uh, i think uh, i can share my experience through my video um uh, coming to the course of action before entering into the preparation of any examination we must know the examination pattern the syllabus and through going through pyq we can also know what is the motive of question makers and through question we can get up to the authentic sources so in these videos i will be covering pyq uh, topic wise as well as subject wise okay and uh, other than the pyq videos some other videos related to important concept particular examination can also be uploaded okay so coming to the language of medium uh, language of medium will be english as well as hindi it will be decided on the basis of each of understanding of a particular concept or topic and uh, it will also depend upon the viewer's choice suppose i am preparing uh, a, a video on bpsc and most of the candidates uh, preparing for bpsc are from bihar as well as up that means they are from uh, hindi speaking states okay so uh, i will be preparing videos in hindi but when it comes to nda uh, cds and cpf uh, in the in all these examinations uh, english is having a good weightage okay and uh, you have to prepare for interview also in which also english is important so most probably english will be the medium for this examination okay and if required hindi can also uh, for the ease of understanding for some concept uh, 
Hindi language will also be taken. Okay. So moving further. So uh, uh, who all can watch these PIQs? Okay. That means uh, I am preparing. I will be focusing more on NDA, CDS, CAPF. So the uh, the students in the age group 15 to 30 are the required viewers okay means these group viewer, uh, the, the viewers from these age group will benefit the most from these videos as we know that uh, the age group uh, eligibility criteria for NDA is uh, I think uh, 16 half to 18 half okay and for CDS it is up to 24 and C CAPF 25 and if uh, in C CAPF it will apply relaxation of uh, OBC and SCST so it come up to 30 so uh, and uh, coming to BPSC and UPPSC initially I will be uploading videos on these and uh, after that I will start also uploading videos in PIQs of these exams so coming to the first these exams let's uh, have some analysis in NDA examination uh, so the main subjects are mathematics and GS okay in mathematics they are 120 questions and in GS they are 150 questions and the 150 con questions consist of 50 questions of uh, English 50 questions of science and 50 questions of others that means this is it includes uh, history geography quality and uh, economics also and current affairs okay so uh, in cds uh, there are three papers one for mathematics another for english another for gs and this gs consists 30 questions of science and 70 questions of others okay and coming to cfpf uh, there is a paper of english 200 marks and a gs of 125 questions so uh, and in 125 questions 15 are approximately from math 30 from science and 80 from others so uh, you must be seeing that uh, i had colored this in same color but in different shades so the same color denotes the that the syllabus is same okay syllabus is nearly same but the uh, shade denotes the toughness level it is the uh, most toughness if I have to give the degree wise it, it can be termed as 3, 2 and 1 ok and in case of science NDA science is the toughest one then it is CAPF then CDS ok and English of both uh, NDA and CDS equally uh, the toughness level is nearly same and uh, coming to the math portion the Maths which is asked in NDA exam is from class 11 and 12. Okay, it is totally different from the math asked in CDS and CAPF. In CDS and CAPF, elementary mathematics is asked, which is up to class 10. Okay, and uh, this is also in different color because the English asked in CAPF exam is a subjective one. Okay, you have to write, but in the in CDS and NDA, the English is objective okay and all these papers are objective one so uh, i have i hope uh, means you can understand the reason behind this analysis because on the basis of this analysis we are going to divide our time and start uh, make our strategy how to score because uh, in these exams uh, most of the exam 50 percent is the cut off okay means if you are covering 50 percent you can easily clear the cutoffs so uh, rather complete completing or focusing all all the subjects or all the questions we should focus on uh, smart study okay so uh, let's target the examination of 2022 so uh, we all know that nda and cds our uh, exams are taken two twice a year 
NDA1, NDA2 and CDS1, CDS2 and this time NDA1 and CDS1 are going to be held on the same date okay so approximately time uh, I have calculated the approximate that means least number of days that counting from today you are having at least 70 days if you are preparing for NDA1 or CDS1 if you are preparing for CAPF1 uh, sorry CAPF only once a year so 2022 you are having approximately 180 days and for NDA2 and CDS2 there is approximately 210 days okay so I'm uh, moving further I hope uh, I'm I'm clear in this uh, introduction video so uh, for approach of uh, these subjects uh, a person suppose a person or a candidate who is preparing for uh, only NDA but he can go through the PYQs of CAPF since the syllabus of and the GS portion is same okay but the, uh, but while preparing for science portion the toughness level is little bit more in case of science uh, at the same time the person who, who is preparing for CDS as well as CAP he, he or she also can go through the questions of NDA also okay uh, the motive behind going through uh, or the PYQs of uh, different ex uh, exam because uh, you uh, the exam all the exam all three exams is conducted by UPSC okay and UPSC assigns some professor to make some questions related to the syllabus okay so few uh, support few questions are made and these questions are picked for some for NDA some for CDS and some for CAPR so the motive behind the question maker uh, uh, making all questions is same so a candidate preparing for NDA, CDS and CAPF uh, should go through the PYQ of all these examination uh, and it will and uh, in the coming videos well, uh, when, when, where I will be posting uh, different uh, exam solu uh, different paper solutions you will find that the questions are repeating suppose a question came in NDA in 2018 it repeated it will it is repeated in 2019 of CDS or in 20 or uh, 2020 of CAPF so definitely it is going to help you okay same in case of English as well as in mathematics so uh, what you have to do uh, after going through my videos you have to go through that authentic sources and complete the syllabus from that source and then uh, complete all the questions what which is asked in the previous year questions so I am very much sure if you will follow this approach uh, you will find very much easy to clear the cutoffs so if you like this video and if you like the content uh, you can share this to the to other aspirants who are preparing for this exam and you can connect me with me on social media uh, I will be uploading the PDFs on the telegram channel whose link is given in the description and for any kind of doubt related to this examination you can directly message me on Instagram this is my Instagram handle ok so um, you can go through my videos uh, I will be posting the next video and the first video uh, on CDS okay CDS uh, to 2021 science portion so till then thank you so much